Hey everyone, it's Kimberly over at NYT. So excited that we get to do productions this fall and we're gonna have to make some adaptations because of the COVID situation. But you know what, that's okay because theater is all about making art where you can, how you can, using your creativity and coming up with a plan. So we are producing three shows this fall in a repertory inspired format, which means that the sets will pretty much be the same. Um, we'll utilize those things, but we have chosen to do three shows with smaller casts so that we can still allow for a good amount of kids to perform, but just not all at the same time. We're going to be doing three different shows, and these shows are Junie B. Jones is Not a Crook, the Adventures of Super Margaret and Clue on Stage, the high school edition. Now, for auditioning, here's the process because I know uh, some people have been a little bit confused. Here's how it's going to go. All the auditions will be via video. So you have to make a video audition and send that in to us. The video audition needs three elements. The first element is that you have to introduce yourself and tell us about you, um, your name, your age, uh, information like that. And then also please indicate which show or shows you're auditioning for. Based on your age, you will be eligible for one or two shows, but not all three, okay? And you can also indicate if there's a specific part or parts that you're interested in. If you don't have a preference, go ahead and say you don't mind it at all. The second thing that is needed is a memorized comedic monologue, about one to two minutes in length. That's right, memorized, and yes, comedic, because all the shows have an element of comedy to them. And third, I want you to go and do a poem. Now these poems, I've selected, I believe four, uh, that are on our website. You can click on the link and see them. Pick the one that's your favorite. And I want you to tape yourself reading that poem, but with a funny character voice. That's the key, a funny character voice. And remember, of course, that within that voice, I've got to understand some character, but I also have to understand the meaning and the words of the poem. So those are the three things that need to happen in your video. The introduction that includes the roles and shows, the comedic monologue, and then the poem. And you create that video and upload it to a spot where you can get me a link to watch that video. So YouTube's good, Vimeo is good, uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, something like that. So that you have an actual link rather than trying to send me the video. If you go on the website, there is a button a little ways down that says submit. And that's where you're going to find the audition form. And that's where you will upload the following things. You need a headshot, you need a resume, and then the link to your video, okay? So headshot, resume, and link to your video. Now, if you haven't done shows before, don't panic. You don't need to have a resume that's super long, but I do need to get to know you a little bit. What your experience may or may not be, um, interests that you have, if you've taken certain classes like piano or karate or something like that. Just help me get to know you. Do it in list format though, please. Don't send a big paragraph because I'm not a good reader. And of course, a headshot. And remember that this headshot has to be of your head, not of your whole body, of you sitting in a tree, or a fun little selfie that you took in the backyard in your swimsuit. Just <laughs> your head, please. And a uh, color is great. I mean, if you have black and white, I'm not gonna be fussy about it, but color is great. But please make sure that it is a recent photo of you and not something from when you were like 10 and now you are 14, because you change a lot in that time frame. So once you have everything together, you'll fill out the audition form and on there you upload your headshot and your resume and your video and hit send and then everything will come to me. 
You have to get those submitted by September 17th, midnight September 17th, okay? And then I will choose people for callbacks. If you're chosen for callbacks, I'll send you an email on September 19th. That's a Saturday. National Pop Talk Like a Pirate Day. Arr. <laughs> but I will be sending you an email. In that email, there'll be a link to sign up for a slot for callbacks. I can't have everybody come back all at once for callbacks. So I'm doing it in small groups at the theater in person. So uh, watch for those emails, watch your spam, uh, but it will arrive on the 19th because the callbacks are on the 20th. So I'll send them like right away in the morning so that you will get them, okay? Once you sign up for a callback, all the information about callbacks will be uh, included in your response from the sign up. I hope that made sense. If you still don't understand and you need help, just send me an email and I'll be happy to answer the questions for you. The easiest email is nyt at northglen.org. I look forward to seeing all of your smiling faces on video. I am casting any and all uh, ages seven to 18. Um, so that means genders, races, blah, 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 all of it. You know, I just try out and let's see what happens, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, again, fire off an email, nyt at northglen.org. Uh, have a really, really great day and thanks for supporting the North Glen New Theater. Bye.